So Sigrid, welcome to Ireland. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, it the last two years has been crazy, manic for you. You've yeah. done so much. Um, I heard you haven't had a wink of sleep in a while as well. Probably about, what, two weeks sleep, I've heard? What? Little Birdie told me. Who told you? Well, I was listening to another interview. Someone oh. said you hardly slept. Oh, I, to be honest, All it's lies. been the straight opposite. Honestly, I've had so good sleep. Well, the that's past okay. <laughs> Okay. Very nice. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's positive. You know, I'm sleeping very well. Good. Oh, yeah. How are, how is your sleep? Uh, great. I'm looking yeah. after my health. Good. <laughs> it's important. Yeah, it definitely is, especially with the hectic lifestyle you're living. Yes, um, do. now we have a brand new single. I cannot believe it. We're back here again. Don't feel like crying. So this one, I get the vibe that you've just kind of left all the worries in the past. You're moving on and moving forward. Uh, was that basically what it's about then? Basically, yeah. yeah. Or at least on the surface that it's about, yeah, moving on and, you know, find something positive out of something negative. I think it's pretty obvious what this song is about. Mm. Wink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I guess I, there's a part in the song that is also about the fact that you're just like pushing the pain away, really. And just you don't want to deal with it right now. You know it's going to be painful at some point that you have to deal with the fact that you've been through a breakup but right now you just want to have fun um and i th but i think then again you can take that into different situations this can be but other things too. Yeah, not oh, yeah. just we're heartbreaking moving on, everything. Um, I feel like there's so many songs at the moment that is kind of like that. Uh, Ariana Grande, for instance, she's like, thank you, next. All the females out there are saying, I love you know her. what? She's Positivity. so, so good. Yes. She's killing it. Like, Have you ever met her? No, 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 no. But I've been listening to her too many years mm. for, uh, and I think she is amazing. Her voice is obviously, we all know that her voice is brilliant, but um, the way she's been dealing with everything uh, oh, the no. past year is, yeah. Admirable. Incredible. Really cool. Incredible. Yeah. Um, and we could say the same for you. At 22 years old, you're absolutely <laughs> killing it right now. I mean, Thanks. that is incredible in itself. You what also have a debut album coming out as yes. well. I feel like we've been waiting for this. Um, so how has it been kind of working on the album and kind of preparing for the big day, the big launch? It's March 28th, I heard. No, it's actually March 8th. March 8th? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> even okay, sooner. So even sooner. So even tell sooner. us. Yes. How have you been March playing? 8th. Um, I'm really excited about it. This is something, you know, I've, I guess I've been working on it for, let's say, two years then mm. um, because I've just been doing sessions in the middle of everything else because that's the way I like to work right mm. the studio is where everything starts for me and that's why I am a musician that's why I do this as my job because I love writing songs and I want to, to sing the songs myself um, so I've been in the studio uh, continue uh, continuously um, these past two years but I guess um, it's mostly songs from this year mm -hmm. Or I guess 2018 then. Um, but there are many themes on that songs. There is everything from our love songs. There are songs about friendships. Um, there are songs about business stuff. There's, yeah. Yeah, you're a woman in business now as well. I am, yeah. yeah. Um, where do you find a kind of that inspiration to write so many different kinds of songs? Because mm -hmm. I mean, you've been through, I'd say, not, I wouldn't say uh, that much. I mean, you're 22. So no, has, it been, true. has it been, you know, where do you find that? Where do you pull it from? No, it's true. I, I've i been living on this planet for 22 years, <laughs> which is not a very long time um, compared to many other people. And also I've been in the like the music industry for how many years now? Two years internationally mm -hmm. and let's say four years or something, um, like all of it. But um, I find inspiration from people, from things that matter to me. Because I remember when I started writing songs when I was 16, mm. I was like, oh, I'm never gonna write good lyrics because I don't have any huge things going on in my life. I'm in high school and I study for tests. That's what my <laughs> life is and I have friends. Um, but I figured out, you know what, that, what, that is something that matters to me and that's something I can write about. Um, so I still go for that same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't write about things that I can't recognize myself in. I write about things that matter to me. And then, of course, this is a three minute pop song. I'm gonna make it a bit extra. Of course. That's what it, it's storytelling. <laughs> and of course, what I'm telling is everything is pretty, pretty personal. Mm -hmm. But it's also important to remember that this is a snippet of my life. It's mm. like, you know, the whole discussion with social media and how we always just see like one part of our life and yeah. we often present ourselves in such a perfect way. We don't talk about the real difficult things. It's kind of the same thing with songwriting for mm. me that in my songs, I tend to be pretty sad in the songs, but it's because I love a sad pop song. It's not because I'm sad all the time. They don't sound sad. They sound happy and uplifting. Yeah, but the, the lyrics are really sad. I know, yeah. But I know what you mean. Yeah, because there's always different sides to a story. And um, 
And I think also uh, it's so important for me to keep my private life private. Mm -hmm. And I am writing about some private things, but I just reveal like a little hint of it because that's what I'm comfortable with. And do you find that difficult to deal with, say, the the pressure of, say, your your life being out there for mm. everybody to scrutinise and everybody to see? Is that... I don't really have a huge life outside the music, <laughs> to be okay. honest. I shouldn't say that. No, but honestly, um, nah. Ah. I live in Norway and I think... Pretty Nor chill. <laughs> Norwegians are pretty chill. Like, of course, they're really proud of me and what I'm doing. Mm. On the other hand, I don't think they really care that much. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I love the music and that's all that matters. Yeah, kind of. Mm. Yeah. And when I get home to my hometown, all of a sudden that is like 50,000 inhabitants, see people at the super, like at the grocery store, and they're like, hey, what's up? Really? And they're like, oh, nice. Oh, so exciting with the music. But then again, I, you know, it's, you know, it's a small city. So you're not getting mobbed by people? No. Really? <laughs> I'm actually shocked by that. And that's kind of nice though. When you're at home, you actually so. feel at home and there's no pressure. No. And do you get back a lot? I do go, I go home every second week, maybe. Mm. I am actually okay. quite, I feel like I'm actually quite a lot home. Okay. Um, maybe not for, I'm never there for a long time, maybe like three, four days, but. That's still plenty. Yeah. That's still nice. I, that, that is really important for me because I, I love living in Norway with the fact that my work is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so to be able to step back and hang out with people and friends that do completely different other things, that's really important to me. And, you know. Hang out with my my loved ones, my family, my friends. They're great. And also I'm traveling with my band. They're in that room. I can see them. And yeah. they're my closest friends. So it's really good to have them on tour. Oh, it's like being with your besties all the time. It is. Nice. It's really good. I'm and lucky. This year, very, very lucky in every aspect. Um, this year is being dubbed the biggest year uh, for your touring, <laughs> right? Um, now you've got a support tour with George Ezra. Mm -hmm. You've also got Maroon 5 coming up. You're supporting them as well. The Coronas at the Irish Independent Park. Um, also your own headline show, show in um, the three arena on the 22nd of november so there is so much coming up how do you prepare for something like this because it must be a bit daunting thinking the next year is going to be non-stop that's not even the full list <laughs> oh this is only a <laughs> no it's that we're doing quite a lot more but no it, what can i say it's mm. a huge honor um i'm humbled by all the opportunities we get and it's great. It's really fun. Uh, I'm Are very you excited. Are working out trying. at the gym? Like <laughs> trying because your, your your performance no, is so hectic. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to run a bit, but uh, it's not my favorite activity. Not mine either. No. no, but no. Of course, it's important. But I, I sleep. I sleep a lot. I think that's the that's the most important exercise I do in my everyday, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I've heard, well, okay, I've said that. You've barely slept, but you said you have had a lot of sleep. You've taken that on mm -hmm. board, so that's good. Now, you're bringing this new, fresh taste to pop music. Um, do you feel any pressure to kind of keep that momentum going? Because you're on an mm. up and up right now. So do you feel kind of, you know, any pressure at all? Or do you feel like you're just taking it all in your stride and just going with it? I think it would be weird if I didn't feel any pressure mm. at all because that's human, of course. Like Things are a bit crazy and it's been crazy for two years. But then again, I've had that pressure since I released Don't Kill My Vibe, my first single. So there's nothing I can do about it really. And I think in that moment I realized, yes, there is pressure. And yes, people are expecting me to do, you know, that things are going to go well. Mm. But I don't want to let that get in the way for the reason why I do this and I do this because I love music and I never really thought I was going to end up being a musician because mm. I thought I was going to I really wanted to study law or study to become a teacher wow that's what I wanted to do oh. but then I was like oh music is also really fun and then my parents were like you can try it just try it <laughs> this is your gap year just go I was like okay okay I did it and then <laughs> yeah you know it's it's happening and it's great and I'm just trying to be focused on the music and having fun with it. And I think I'm on a good, good path there. You just really focusing are. on that. Yeah, I'm really happy. And as a female in this industry mm. as well, I know there's a lot of females at the moment that are really, you know, championing that women can do it too. And if not, of better. Course. Um, do you feel like you're, you know, carrying on that torch as well with some of the songs you're writing? Oh. Sorry, coffee break. Um, <laughs> I think there's been females throughout history since like forever doing amazing things and fighting that case for so many years. And and it's so frustrating seeing that now in 2018, 2019, we're still 
have to take like do the fight that women before us many many years ago have been doing that same fight mm-hmm. and it's mind blowing that we're still dealing with that as for me i guess that i i do have a voice as everyone else and but i also have a, a platform in some way and i'm of course i'm a feminist like who why wouldn't you <laughs> it's an easy thing to be I, i believe in equality i believe that we deserve the right um like the the same rights that's it simple it is simple mm. isn't it um so yeah but as for the music um i guess some of my songs can be read in that way and i don't mind that if people understand my songs um with that undertone in it um and i'm also really proud that i'm 22 but i'm running my own company yes <laughs> girl and that's it that's pretty fun it, amazing i think the female fans out there and male fans as well i keep separating it with sexes but everyone mm-hmm. out there can look up to you and say you know what here is a girl a young girl who's absolutely killing it and she's got her own but there's business. so many women killing there's it there's so many women i know but you have to well yeah. i'm sitting in front no, of this I woman know. right sorry, now sorry i'm bad at thank you thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing you in Dublin. I cannot wait. I saw you at Electric Picnic. Oh, um, yes. Nice. And it was amazing. How do you keep that energy going on stage throughout the whole show? The crowd. Just bouncing about. Just the crowd. They or you guys were brilliant. <laughs> That's one of my favorite days ever. I didn't want to leave. It was so so good. I could feel it. I could feel the energy off stage. <laughs> and you've gotten so many accolades and so many um really so many singles. But what what is your what would stand out in your mind? I say the best of this year. Of this well, we've only just started 2019. So uh, maybe the end of okay, 2018. 2018. Yeah, let's yeah. 2018 too. Uh, that's hard. Um Oh, I, I, I want to so say many. Electric Picnic. It was so Dude, good. Say it, it was so good. <laughs> that oh, also we played a show in Manchester. That was amazing. I think like one of yeah, one of my favorite moments are always the ones in the in in concerts because mm. that's where you see the song live its own life. So it's either that, and it's also the moment we wrote Sucker Punch. That was really fun. That mm-hmm. was in a Ocean Song Recordings in my hometown. And I remember we heard the chorus, and I was standing behind uh, Emily Warren and Martin Shirt, who I wrote it with. And I didn't want to say to them, this is the new single, just you know it, guys. Because I didn't want to like, spoil like if it weren't to happen. But I just knew it, like, this needs to be the single. I love this song. And it became the single afterwards. That was really fun. And everybody else loved it. <laughs> yes. <Hope> so. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, well, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting me. And as I said, thank cannot you. wait to see you again. Because I get so much energy and so much <laughs> life from you, girl. So thank thanks a million you. for sitting down and chatting with me. And all the best with the rest of the tour, the music, the album, everything. Thanks a lot. Likewise. <laughs>